All right. We're back here Thursday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Once again, Grandma Tanner's been cooking. She's back. Were you gone last week? Uh, no, we did the salmon last week. Oh, man, my weeks are running together. <laughs> oh, there they are. We're almost, we're almost there. We got another week after this weekend. We'll be open till 8, and then November we're 8 to 5, Monday through Saturday, closed on Sundays. So remember that come the first Sunday in November, we will not be here. But we'll be back on the that Monday. So anyways, here we are cooking with Grandma Tanner. We're doing a smoky maple bacon pork chops. And let me tell you, this smoky maple bacon mustard, which is a mouthful, but every time I walk past a sample table, I gotta get me a little sample of that on a pretzel. So it is just good stuff dip, just dipping pretzels in it. I really like it. I keep thinking I gotta make sure I get some just in case we would run out before the end of the season. So, Grandma Tanner, you're gonna tell us what you're doing. Okay, so I, I, uh, here's our cider. And I marinated uh, four pork chops in here. So how long did you marinate them for? I actually did, I actually marinated these by early morning or, you know, like seven o'clock. I put them in here. Okay. Now, do you um, pound them out or poke them or anything? No, I did not. That might tenderize them a little bit more, but um, I'm going to pat them dry. I think there's one, yeah, there is one more in there. I have one in the broiler, under the broiler right now. So we'll put these three in here. This is so easy, simple. Now I chose to broil them in my broiling pan, but you can also bake them or grill them whichever you choose. Now if you bake them, would you leave a little cider in the pan maybe? I think that would be excellent. Just a little bit of cider in the bottom of the pan. But you probably want to watch it so you don't evaporate it all. Yes. So you're patting them dry. Why are you patting them dry? So this mustard sticks to them a little bit easier. So we'll just put that one right there. Now I have one in the oven that I'm um, broiling. So this is just the smoky maple. That's just that stuff. Just the that stuff. And it's, it's kind of thick. It goes on real nice. Just brush that real good. I wonder how this would be on turkey or chicken. Oh, I think I think it would be excellent on either one of those. But I chose pork chops because it has bacon in it. We all know where bacon comes from. Now, I'm just going to do it on one side. And then I'll, I'll put it in there under broil. And then bring it out, turn it over, and put a little bit more. So about how long do you broil them? Well, on, on pork, it used to be 160 degrees with a thermometer. But now they're saying 140. Okay. So the middle, so if you want to check it with a little thermometer, you can do that. So this is it's so easy. Make sure I get all this covered all around here. It's it's such a pretty golden color. And you got one in there? I have one pork chop in there. I'm going to stick this one on this side. Now we're using a electric oven, but the gas is the boilers on the bottom. I did not realize that. I always had electric growing up. So I have this one and it looks good. 
Yes, it looks very good. I, I sprayed this with uh, the pan and same way with that pan. I'm going to shut that oven a little bit. Yeah, better shut that oven a little bit. I don't want you falling over it. So um, I could test this with a thermometer and see if it's done, but... Um, yeah, just cut it open. Yeah. Pretty tender. The cider will tenderize Looks your like. meat. It might be done. I think it is because it's been in there maybe 15 minutes. So if you do them on the grill, really juicy. Very juicy. If you do them on the grill, I would say not more than eight minutes on each side if your grill is turned up. And then just keep putting this little bit of mustard sauce on there. Okay. Now that's a super easy recipe. You just marinate your pork chops and apple cider. And uh, when I marinate, I always put my meat in a Ziploc bag, like a gallon bag, and then pour the marinade over it. So you could do that. And then just put the smoky maple ba bacon, smoky maple bacon mustard. Like I said, it's a mouthful. I'm on it, cook it on one side, flip it over, put some more of that mustard on the other side, and finish cooking it. And that's all there is to it? That's it. That's it. It's real simple, and then while that's in the broiler, you can make your mashed potatoes, the Jimmy Dean ones in the microwave, and green beans <laughs> and a lettuce. <laughs> so, and what did you want to talk about the cider? Oh, the cider, yeah, when we make cider, it's at least five varieties. People ask me, how many varieties are in there? It's always at least five. And then um, we do run it through an ultraviolet light that kills any bacteria. And then we have it in one these big 1,000 and 2,000 gallon tanks. And then overnight, it, it stirs in there and it cools. And another thing we like to do is start out with cold apples so that it doesn't take so long for that to cool down. But, um, yeah, we are making cider Almost. probably four times a week, sometimes yeah. five. Yeah, I know. Some Sundays they're making bottling in the morning and making in the afternoon. Yeah, we are selling a lot of cider. And we did win in 2020. We one first in the state and first in the nation. Ooh, on our National. sweet cider. Yeah, so it was very good. So that's a it's a good holiday drink. You can heat it up, put some spices. We sell a hot a moline spices for it. It's a good drink on a hot day. It's a good mixer um, if you like to mix drinks. It's um it's real good. It's very refreshing, and if you um are interested at all, just a FYI, if you want to do a hard cider or apple wine with it, please call ahead and let us know. So um, we do put a little bit of potassium sorbate in it. So if you're going to do a hard cider or a apple wine with our cider, call ahead and we will pull that out before we put that in so that you can make that. But Grandma Tanner used it to marinate her pork chops today. Did you try it? Is Not it good? Yet. Not yet. I thought I'd try this. Mmm. That is good. So there you go. Super easy recipe. If you got pork chops, marinate them in cider. You probably really only need to marinate them for minimum or you know, minimum of half two, an two hours, maybe. Two hours? An hour and a half, maybe. Okay. Or as long as you like. So all right. Well, thank you everybody for watching and we should be back next week. So thanks a lot.